So today, I want to come back to this guy, number two. Okay, you get lots out of this one, lots of different conclusions. I want us to think about a couple of examples. We'll start with an easy one, okay? Division, yeah? How about 2 to the power of 10 divided by 2 to the power of 7, okay? Same base, division. Have a look at the way the law works. What should I write on the right-hand side? It's going to start with a 2. I heard a 2, right? Then what? What will be in the power? 4, 3. It'll be 3, won't it? It'll be 10 minus 7. In fact, I might even write that. Yeah. 10 minus 7, and that's where the 3 comes from, which should be 8, I guess. Okay, So that's fine. That's a pretty... Sorry, I should put that 3 a little closer. That's a pretty plain example. Okay, So that was um, example 1. Let's have a look at another example. Example 2. I want to take this number 3 into account as well. What if one of these indices here, one of the powers, was zero. For instance, what if the first one was zero? To the power of zero, and let's divide by oh, something like, I don't know, two to the five. How about that? Okay. Maybe now, going through exactly the same thing that I did here, right? Division, same base, what should I write on the right-hand side? Maybe five. Mm. five. Now, before I get to it, five. I'm going to go, do this line, right? When I'm dividing numbers with the same base. I subtract the indices. And of course, 0 minus 5, like you've been telling me, is negative 5. Mm, okay, but, but what does that mean? This is, we haven't really encountered negative indices before. That's what the heading is, by the way. Negative indices. So we want to work out, well, what does it mean when you have a neg negative index, right? And we're going to do it in a very similar way to how we do this. Okay. You remember how we thought about what would happen if you had a zero index? Well, we're going to do exactly the same thing with a negative one, okay? Have a look at this left-hand side again, right? The left-hand side, 2 to the power of zero. That's law number three, isn't it? Number three. So what is 2 to the power of zero? It's just one. Exactly right. One. Okay. Now, division, I know we can write a divide sign, but I'm going to write it as a fraction here, like so, right? And I'm dividing by 2 to the power of 5, right? Like so. Okay, now have a look at that line we've just written. Look at this. Okay. You've got this 5 here, and you've got the 5 appearing again, right? But what's the difference between the two sides? On this side, you've got the negative index, right? What does it mean? Hmm. How would you, what would you write to explain what's going on? Um, a negative index. Five halves. Ah. Is, there are halves in there, aren't there? There's a half, right? Um, it is a half times a half times a half times a half times a half. Five times, right? Um, a negative index means, and this would be my summary sentence that you can put underneath here. Uh, means the base, that 2, right, it moves to the denominator. Can you see that? It becomes a fraction, right? Okay. Um, there's, a, there's a funky rhyming way to remember this, which maybe you'll find really cheesy, but hopefully it will help, sure. which is that when you change the sign of the index, when you change the sign, um, you cross the line. It goes underneath, onto the bottom of the fraction. Yeah. Okay. So that's how you can remember, okay, when I see 2 to the power of negative something, it's actually a fraction, right? So just like over here, see how all of these are not examples. They're the laws, right? Uh, for any number, what do these mean? We're going to do number 7 now. Okay? And it's come from number 2 and number 3 together. How would I write it? Uh, I think I'd write it like this. If I have a negative index like that, a negative power, well, I've changed the sign, so I'm going to cross the line. Okay, does that make sense? Is that okay? So, easy example, okay? How about, let's do 3 to the power of negative 2. If I ask us to evaluate that and find out what it's equal to, what should I write? Well, the sign there is negative, right? 
So that means I'm going to write a fraction. What's on the denominator? Sorry. It'll be 3 squared. Okay, can you see that? Yeah. See how it's similar to this? Just the numbers are slightly different. So that's 1 over 9. Do you always put 1 on, one on top of Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's exactly right. Uh, I suppose if I had another number, like say, okay, let's do another example. Um, let's go 2, two cubed um, times 3 power of negative 5 this time. Okay? This one's a positive power, so it stays up the top. Two cubed, right? But this is a negative power, so it's going to go down the bottom. Like that. Okay? Can you see what that means? So when you see these negative indices, what you really should be thinking about is fractions. Okay? That's what you get out of them. Are there any questions on that? Does that make sense? Yeah? What's the difference between the two? I, I don't get the difference between the two. Do you mean between this and this? No, no, the two examples. Between these two examples? Yeah. Um, it was just, I got asked the question, is it always one? And the answer is, well, it's one because this is really one times three to the power of minus two. But what if, like for the second example, what if that, the two to the power of three, yep. what if that's the negative, how? how, how if that, that was, if that was a negative as well, yeah. yeah. So that means that would go into the denominator too. Okay. Come in. Come in. You better come in. Open the door. You turn. You turn the handle. It's. <laughs> Hello. What do you call? Yeah. Do you have an idea? Do you want to look around? Which table? Yeah. I was right here. Look around. Oh, maybe. I just. If it turns up, yeah. um, I'll let you know. What's your name? Bashir. Bashir. I'll see if I can find it. Sorry, like what are we up to? You change this to a negative. So that means... Oh, wrong colour. That means it goes on the denominator as well. Like that. Okay. All the negative indices, they get onto the denominator. Because you change the sign, you cross the line. Okay?